Do you know the size of the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs? It was about the size of Mount Everest. Now what if we tell you that another asteroid that is twice that size is hurtling towards Earth at a speed of more than 40,000 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per second? For us humans, catching a glimpse of a comet is a stroke of luck that comes as rare as a blue moon. Popularly known as the shooting star, the first thing that comes to our mind on spotting one is to make a wish while we watch it fleeting across the sky. But if you are aware of how the age of dinosaurs came to an end, you'll know that these shining streaks in the sky, better known as asteroids, are severe planet killers. Despite the smaller size they carry in comparison to other celestial objects, asteroids have the power to devastate entire planets. Welcome to the Space Tech Gazette. Today, we are going to take a space tour around a comet named Comet 12P Pons Brooks, popularly known by the terrifying name, the Devil Comet. So what's really going on? What and who is this Devil Comet? The Devil Comet, or Comet 12P Pons Brooks, is a short period comet. Just so you know, any comet that has a time period of less than about 200 years is known as a short period comet. The Devil Comet is one of them as it orbits the Sun once every 71 years. If that sounds familiar, it's because one of our celestial superstars, the famous Halley's Comet, is also a short period comet visible from Earth every 75 to 79 years. Not just that, they even have nearly the same size. And most importantly, just like Halley's Comet, the Devil Comet too is not gracing our skies for the first time. Yes. Ponsbrooks is not a newcomer and has been visiting Earth since the year 1812, thanks to the sharp eye of the comet hunter Jean-Louis Pont. Sadly, the observations made back then were not precise enough to predict when the comet would return, and so the comet was rediscovered in the year 1883 by William Brooks. Since then, more and more astronomers have been researching the whereabouts of this comet. They ultimately came to the conclusion that Pons Brooks might have been visiting our planet since the year 1385. Judging from its brightness, astronomers have estimated the solid core of the Devil Comet, called the Nucleus, to be around 12.4 miles. But what exactly is Devil about this comet? Why is Pons Brooks called the Devil Comet? Well. It's not about the devil, but the horns of the devil. So the thing is that this comet had a spectacular outburst in late July. In this outburst, it blasted off a lot of gas and dust, while also brightening by a staggering 100 times. And no, this comet wasn't done yet. Pons Brooks made an unexpected jump in its magnitude. If you're wondering what a magnitude is, don't worry. It ain't no rocket science. In astronomy, a magnitude is the measure of the brightness of a star or any other celestial object. The lower or the more negative the magnitude of an object, the brighter it is in the sky. Now here's the interesting part. After the outburst, Pons Brooks made an astonishing transformation overnight from magnitude 17 to magnitude 12. That is a lot. Though this comet has shown a knack for this sort of performance several times in every orbit, such outbursts, or better call them cosmic fireworks, are utterly random totally unpredictable and very uncommon. But why was the comet showing such an excited behavior? To understand that, we will have to figure out the mystery behind those horns of the devil. When a comet nears the sun, it warms up and develops an atmosphere. This hazy cloud that surrounds the nucleus of a comet is called a coma. Now, after the outburst in July, the coma got distorted into a horseshoe or horned shape with a dark center and menacing wings giving the look of a demon with horns. Media outlets didn't hesitate to refer to the comet by its devil-shaped appearance, and thus Pons Brooks got its name, the Devil Comet. You would be thrilled to know that some even link the devilish look of the comet to the Millennium Falcon Comet, or better known as the legendary starship from the Star Wars universe. The devil in the comet, however, settled down after the outburst, and its brightness became steady. But Pons Brooks wasn't really done. It unleashed another outburst in early October 2023, and those eerie horns 
made a comeback. This comet has literally left astronomers scratching their heads in wonder. Researchers are quite unsure of what exactly is causing these horns. One hypothesis suggests that it could be because it is blowing off so much gaseous and dusty contents in an uneven manner in space. But what about the dark surface in the center of the comet? The hypothesis by astronomers further says that there perhaps can be one region of this surface in the center that mysteriously stays calm and doesn't spew any gas. Therefore, it possibly gives rise to a darker appearance as compared to the two bright regions on its either side. Another hypothesis suggests that the center of the comet might have a denser and even topography which blocks some part of the bright light coming from behind, thus giving the impression of a dark shadow in the center. Which one of these theories is true? Well, astronomers are still figuring that out, so let's leave that to them. But one thing that we know for sure is that the unique structure of this comet is one of the most interesting mysteries in the scientific sphere out there. Now let's jump to the most burning question. Is the Devil Comet going to hit Earth? Are we going to see a similar fate as the dinosaurs? Do we need to panic? Not at all. The Devil Comet is no danger to our planet. How do we know that? Well, we know that space is three-dimensional. And while we know that planets in our solar system revolve around the sun in a relatively flat plane, comets don't necessarily have to follow that rule. Hans Brooks moves on a highly inclined orbit that brings it down from above the plane of the planet. It's true that the Devil Comet would come pretty close and inside the orbit of Earth, but not close enough to hit our planet. The comet will surely pass through the inner solar system and also between the orbits of Earth and Venus. But the trajectory of the comet will never intersect Earth's orbit. So life on Earth has a lot more time left to wander and explore. The Devil Comet ain't taking that away from us. If anything, this big and weird comet has got sky watchers super excited. If you are someone who loves sky gazing, just know that the Devil Comet is heading our way and catching a glimpse of it is going to be a treat for you. To add a cherry on top of the cake, the astronomical event of spotting the Devil Comet will fall in line with the total solar eclipse on the 8th of April, 2024. Yes, the comet will be visible during the total solar eclipse. According to astronomers, the Devil Comet will be visible around April 2024. So as the eclipse crosses North America, you can be assured that Comet Ponsbrooks is already in the sky and very much near the sun. And you never know, if we are lucky enough, we might as well come across yet another outburst or cosmic fireworks in the sky. What a sight that is going to be. Imagine the moon covering the sun while a shooting star glittering the sky. The Devil Comet will make its closest approach in June 2024 and might be visible to the naked eye. This is truly going to be a super special celestial treat on top of an already exciting cosmic event. Make sure you don't miss it. And that concludes our cosmic journey with the Devil's Comet right here on the Space Tech Gazette. If this journey ignited your curiosity, remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Your support fuels our mission to bring you the latest news in space technology. If you want to know more about some of the most amazing space technologies out there, you can watch one of these videos next. Until our next cosmic rendezvous, stay tuned and keep exploring with the Space Tech Gazette.